Hi, everybody. Wanted to... Blah, 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 blah. Hi guys, I have a small hallway in my house and that's being generous. It's not really a hallway, it's a little tiny square space with three doors. Bathroom, two bedrooms. Over the years, the paint on the doors and the trim has taken a terrible beating, primarily because there is a floor furnace in there that wreaks havoc on the paint. And over decades, many, many, many coats of paint have been applied to those doors. Sometimes the paint has been put on thoughtfully with preparation beforehand, and sometimes it has not been prepared beforehand. So it cracks and peels and chips away. It's a disaster. My intention was to take care of those doors, get them stripped down, scrape whatever I needed to do to get them ready for a big change, which was going from white or beige to shiny high gloss black paint. And I wanted to do it right so the paint would adhere and I wouldn't have to do it again in two years. I did the job right, but I rarely remembered to film myself. So I have this mashed up footage Sometimes it's my bedroom door. Sometimes it's the bathroom door. I'm doing various things to the doors, but the bottom line is I did get the project done. I have a little video at the end to show you how the doors turned out. So hopefully that'll tie this mess together and maybe it'll give you some ideas for a project you might like to do in your house. Here's my door and before I go any farther, I really want to to show everybody this little bit. Close up you can see I've done my stripping basically on the edge of the door because the paint on the center of the door was in pretty good shape and that's a lot less work. But I want to show you there were six or seven layers of paint. As I've said the house was built mid-century and I want to show you this really bright pink color. Very common decorating choice in the early mid 20th century. This represents a color that was in the bathroom at some point and it's one of the lower layers so that was probably late 40s early 50s and then when you move up here you can see that classic mid-century green shade sort of a minty green also way down there in the layers of paint this side of the door is the outward facing side of the bathroom door so all the doors in the hallway the three doors have this green paint somewhere underneath because it was really popular at the time. The next step in refinishing my bathroom door, now that I've got some of the thickest, heaviest, most beat up paint stripped off and sanded and wiped down, vacuumed clean, is to use some TSP to degloss the surface where there is some paint remaining that I, I want to get good adherence for my new coat of paint. So let me show you what I'm using. This is a liquid TSP, a Jasco brand. I have absolutely no connection to the brand. It's just what we have around the house. You can use it for a lot of different purposes at different strengths, but do be careful. You definitely want to wear gloves uh, if you're going to have your hands in it. For my purposes, I'm going to mix it four to one, and I'm going to mix it a fairly small amount because I just need a little bit to wipe down one side of my my bathroom door and knock down the gloss in the center of the door. That way I can apply my primer, then the door will be ready to paint. So I'm going to mix this up now and get back to it.
I'm in the middle of working on this last door from my three hallway doors. Before I use TSP on it, the paint that you see there, other than those few white bits, is the original paint that was put on these doors by the contractor when the house was built in 1949. That's the original paint. It is 70 years old, if not a little bit older. And look at the shine on it. That is what oil-based paint with lead in it can achieve. And it's between this coat and all the other coats of paint over the years and decades that has failed. You can see here, this little island of paint is on there. It is not coming off and that's fine. But you can see, you can see the green, you can see a light beige color. There have been two coats of white. I did those uh, in the past 20 years. But it's between this original, nice, glossy, 70-year-old paint and the very next coat that got put on by whoever it might have been. Probably whoever owned the house originally and was going to put it up for sale. They probably wanted to freshen it up. And they took a shortcut and did not degloss this paint with sanding or chemical means and the paint low these 70 years later is still wanting to peel off so this girl is going to do it right i've got it scraped down as much as humanly possible and i'm about to put tsp on it and sand it some more and uh, all that good stuff before i prime it so yep lead plus oil-based paint equals extremely toxic and hardy high gloss paint. Here it is still wet with TSP so that's where you're still seeing a little bit of shine. You can also see that even in the overhead lights that were throwing uh, glare off this door a few minutes ago with a scotch bright pad and some nice strong TSP and gloves on my hand I've gotten the gloss off of this door so now I can you know wipe it down once it's dry and slap a coat of primer on it. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of repair you can see 70 years year old door has 70 years worth of gouges on the bottom edge a couple on the top edge too getting very close to being able to paint these I've been so eager to paint them and see how nice they look when they're finished but I am refusing to rush the job just for personal satisfaction I want to have it done right Here's my small hallway. The door on the left is the bathroom. Uh, the door on the right is my office. And if I swing around here, you can see basically my bedroom door. That's the whole hallway. So even in a small house, I think it's safe to go ahead and try something a little bit different, a little bit dramatic. I was a bit concerned that Trying these black shiny doors would look overdone, but I'm super happy with the way they turned out. Now I just have to finally give in and do something with this linen cupboard, which is made out of high quality plywood. Another project for a different day. If you've done something like this at your house, I would love to know more about it. Something that maybe you were afraid to do, but you said what the heck, and you were happy with the results. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more from me, I do invite you to subscribe. And until then, enjoy the good stuff. See you next time.